Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we are doing a joint mobilization, injury prevention, warm up routine and let's pick. Wait, what, are you, what are you doing? It's, it's a mosquito and we gotta get this class done. Yeah, but you shouldn't kill mosquitoes, you shouldn't kill anything. What am I supposed to do? I gotta do it. I've got a, um, actually got a uh, cruelty free solution for you. <laughs> <laughs> Citronella <laughs> bracelets that keep right. mosquitoes away. All right, so as you can, as some of you might have guessed, that's our sponsor for this class. It's Paraquito. Um, it's all natural uh, mosquito bracelet without parabens, stylates, or any toxic stuff made in France. And they have the coolest designs. Very effective, five essential oils. These bracelets are beautiful, gorgeous designs, so they're made to just look stylish. They're really, really good for kids because they're toxin free and they're waterproof, so you can swim with them. They're for all kinds of activities. Uh, they include in only natural ingredients, so they're safe for your loved ones. So they're for the entire family. Uh, they include citronella, rosemary, geranium, mint, cloth, peppermint, and cinnamon oil. They're refillable, well, mosquito repellent bands. They have great reviews on Amazon. I will post the website below and the Amazon links below. They're DEET free and Tylate free. And one refill lasts you 15 days. Uh, one uh, bracelet comes with two refills and uh, then it evaporates and you need another refill. All right, let's get started with the class. For this class, you may need optional, not necessary completely. You can substitute with a pillow, a bowl, and a foam roller. We're gonna use it just a little bit, and feel free to use a tennis ball or just um, a roll of blanket or something like this. All right, let's begin. We're going to come into a standing position. Spread the toes open, take the tailbone under and take a nice deep breath into your belly. As you inhale deeply, bring the breath into the belly. Great. Let's now begin with the shoulders. Big exaggerated shoulder rolls. You're going to draw circles with the shoulders. Really exaggerate the movement. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reversing it. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, for the next one, sit on a chair. I'll sit on a ball. You can sit on a ball, of course, as well. And we're going to bring the left ear over the left shoulder, really lengthen the neck. Opposite side. Sorry about the airplane. Left, right, left, right, left, right. It's joint mobilization, so we're not holding per se, we're moving. We're warming up the joints, warming up the spine, deepening the breath. All right, last one, and here we're going to look over one shoulder, but really use your full range of motion. Look as far out to your right as you can, chin parallel to the floor, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. All right, let's open the chest here. We're gonna lie down and bring the back onto the ball. Let me face you a little bit. Or face hanging upside down you. 
And here we're gonna start with the middle back on the bowl and allow your shoulders to drop, allow the spine to relax, face relaxing. This is a passive back extension, very very good for warming up and also back extensions are warming up in general they uh, release heat in the body all right here you're gonna walk forward to bring the upper back on the ball and this is a little less intense but it also feels really good especially if you have an office job you're driving a lot sitting a lot etc slouching it's very good for opening that space between the collarbones opening the chest All right, very good. Gen gently roll out of this. We're gonna use the ball in a little bit again. But whatever you're using, if you're using a pillow. And here we're gonna warm up the legs and the lower body. So here we're stepping on the left leg and kicking up and back with the right one. From here we're going to go right leg in front of the left and out all right opposite side balance the hips here Sideways, bringing the leg out. You can hold on to a wall or a back of a chair here so that you're a little more balanced. All right, let's roll the hips. <sighs> Figure eights. And then reverse it. now lifting one hip and then the other lift 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 you can come onto your tippy toes and start to drop one heel down coming onto the toes drop one heel down drop the other kind of keeping here everything steady without putting effort into the hips just allowing the heel to drop opposite side drop 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 all right from here we're going to round the back and bring the hands in front of us kind of gliding the scapulas out and forward and now open and and squeeze the scapulas together round reaching forward with the hands and gliding the Scapulas out and squeezing them in, contracting here. And again. And squeezing them in, rounding. Open, rounding, and open. Now, for the next one, you will need a wall. I'm gonna be very creative here. I tested it, I can sit here on this wall even though I have a little bit of a, a little bit of an obstacle but it's not gonna stop me I can still hover over the grass and sit back onto a wall pressing your back and shoulders into and hips into the wall here we're going to walk the hands up the entire time squeezing your back into the wall walking up and back this is keeping us all balanced and aligned if there is any misalignment you're gonna balance your body out here with this wall exercise and also the legs are working which is also great two more one and two and for the next one you're going to just roll the forearms down and back to the wall down 
back to the wall. Use the full range of motion, it will feel amazing. Down, 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 down. Beautiful. To, pre to come out, press yourself away from the wall and come out. We're gonna continue with the breathing exercise that should feel amazing. And all right, so this exercise is probably one of the most important things about today's practice. It's a little bit of a passive exercise because we're sitting, but don't, don't be confused. It's a really, really important one. Or don't be uh, fooled, <laughs> it's so important. Here we're going to bring the hands over the belly, and as we inhale, we're going to expand the belly. All right, let's begin. So we're making sure that we're taking deep breaths. Inhale, belly expands. Inhale, belly expanding. Exhale. Inhale. This is a very healing exercise. It's very good for injury prevention and healing. So for the next one, bring your hands onto your ribcage on the sides and now allow the ribcage to press out into your hands. Making sure basically that we're taking the belly breaths, diaphragmatic breathing. Two more. And now I would like to ask my cameraman to do the counting for the next exercise. So a count of four would be inhalation, a count of five would be holding, and a count of six will be exhalation. We're going to bring the breath here into the ribcage and into the belly. You don't have to over exaggerate the breath, but as long as you're feeling that whole action happening, that's what we're looking for. Inhalation for a count of four, holding five, exhaling for six. Let's do a few reps of that. One, two, three, four, one, Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Five, six, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Six. All right, thank you. No, that was amazing. And for the next one, we're going to stay on the ball and bring the hands, the forearms onto the ball, activating the core, pull the belly in, press the heels away from you, and hold here. If you walk your elbows away from you, that makes it harder. If you walk them closer to you, that makes it easier. Elbows underneath the shoulders is pretty challenging. And really squeeze.
All right, release down on the ground, knees on the ground. From here, plank. Press it back into downward facing dog. Reach with the right leg up, step it through. Drop the back, knee down, left knee down, come up. And here we're going to take that left arm up, stretching the entire side, IT band, hip flexors, quadriceps. Walking up. And release down. Step it back into side plank, left hand on the floor. Squeezing the inner thighs towards the midline, reaching all over the head. Beautiful plank, down dog. Take the left leg up, step it through, drop the back knee down and come up. And here we're going to reach with the right arm up, looking up and allowing this entire side of the body to stretch, to open, to prepare. This can be done also as a cool down routine, optional, warm up or cool down, it's very beneficial. And lower the hand down, step it back in plank, side plank, squeezing the inner thighs together. Press back into down dog. From here, walk your hands back towards your feet, bend the knees, hang in. And from here, we're going to straighten the back, come up. And stepping onto the right leg, you're going to take the left leg behind you, top of the foot on the ground, and you can bend the right knee slightly. Reach over again, stretching the IT band. And you can open up here, good. Opposite side. The leg is back and across, and the foot is down. And here you can reach a little further back, opening that rib cage, looking up. All right, this is a really good exercise and we're gonna top it off with similar thing on the ball. You're going to bring, or you can use a blanket here or roll the blanket or pillow. You can bring your hip on, your hip on the ball, bringing the left hip down, left foot forward, right foot back and hanging here. And really letting go of holding the body a certain way, allowing it to stretch here. This can balance out the spine. And feel the stretch, breathe, move into the stretch. If the body asks you to move a certain way, here, one way I like is to kind of go into a modified um, well thing, bending the right knee and reaching. That's a supported basically well thing. And rolling out of this opposite side. Left leg back, right hip down. And
be a modified wild thing. Great, and we're gonna go into a few stretches. Coming on to the knees, camel pose. Knees are hip width apart, you can take your toes under, hands onto the lower back, pressing forward. Now, one tip I can suggest is press your thumbs into a lot uh, around the lumbar spine and just press forward, taking the tailbone under, so that allows you to free up the spine, open the chest, walk the elbows in, work the elbows in towards the midline, lifting through your sternum. All right, to reverse this movement, lower down into child's pose. One more time, camel. Press the thumbs in there, lifting that space or digging into the muscles a little bit. Lower down. One more time. And child's pose. All right, finishing up with the foam roller, we're gonna roll up the quads so here you're going to bring the right front of your thigh the quadriceps onto the roller and slowly begin to roll the tissue now I find it I find it a little more painful to roll the outer side of my quad so find the, the tender area for you and roll it out there could do this with tennis balls or some something else around the house probably if you're creative but the foam roller is generally a good investment I'll uh, post this roller in the description below opposite thigh now um if you want to do this a little slower you can adjust the speed on youtube videos you can make this video go a, uh, a bit slower 7.75 of its speed so that way you can make the video a little longer and the pose is a little longer same thing uh, for the opposite if you want to speed things up but i don't think you want to speed this up but all my videos you can adjust the speed and again the speaking is fine I will sound pretty much normal if you just go a little slower or just a teeny bit faster coming out of this we are done now you can continue with your workout for the day running etc 
for more videos like, like this, come to my website and join my membership where I have hundreds of videos like this and more intense stretching and so forth. And I hope to see you there. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.